Be careful not to do your acts of righteousness before men and women to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets to be seen by men and women. I tell you the truth, they've received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be done in secret. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. With that, Jesus launches a new block of teaching in Matthew chapter 6. And it's really interesting here, he's changing his tone here slightly, because in Matthew 5, it's been about doing these public acts of righteousness, that your light shine before men, they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. But these following acts that Jesus talks about, these acts of righteousness, a different, slightly different term, he says you're to keep these hidden. You're to keep these under a bowl, as it were, and not to do them publicly before men and women. And they are giving, praying and fasting, things that are often associated with religiosity. And he's saying that the hypocrites do this quite publicly to get their social kudos. The modern day equivalent, of course, is, you know, uh, giant novelty check photo shoots there. Everybody stands around and says, look how great we are and hand it over. And, and, you know, basically it's good business sense. The company is basically parting with a bit of cash for the sake of getting a bit of uh, social kudos. That's a similarly desirable asset, sometimes more desirable. And Jesus is saying, OK, well, you receive your reward in full if you do that. But if you want to receive kudos with God, if you want to transfer your assets to a more heavenly and lasting bank account, then keep it secret, guys. Be discreet about it. So there are two things I think we should take away from this teaching today. One is that we need to be giving to the needy, because Jesus says, when you give to the needy. So that's really important. Are you giving to the needy? Are you giving enough to the needy? I challenge you today. Are you giving enough to the poor and needy of this world? The second thing is, are you being discreet about what you give? Because it's so tempting, isn't it? It's such a strong kind of current that draws us into letting people know how generous we are you know in all sorts of subtle ways oh we support that charity yeah and oh yeah I tithe and we leave our bank statement lying on the side because we want people to know how good we are and how great we are but Jesus says no you're to keep it secret even from yourself in a way you're to hide all that stuff you're not to sort of keep a running tally of how much you're giving to the poor so you can feel good about yourself or you can share that with others keep it discreet and so there's two challenges this week give to the needy review that but also review your, your discretionary index and so transfer your assets to heaven.